Welcome to another Cougar Academy video. And the whole Cougar Academy thing started as a joke, but it's turning into something. Who would have known? I don't mind making these videos as long as uh, people find them useful, maybe entertaining, <laughs> educational perhaps. <laughs> so if you like these videos, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and, and they'll pop into your inbox, especially if you click the notifications button. So today's topic is how to deal with BS in um, an age imbalanced uh, relationship, such as older woman, younger men. So first of all, let me start by saying um, you should not be expecting BS, uh, like going into something with the expectation of a bad outcome raises the question of why bother, right? So if that's your mental state, maybe you shouldn't go there. But at the same time, it's not uncommon that there will be some drama that arises in these relationships for many reasons. Maybe um, one of the reasons is um, if, if you're the cougar and you're older, uh, you've lived a little longer, you know yourself a little better, you know your preferences very well, so you might get into interesting, silly arguments over um, things you shouldn't be getting into arguments uh, over. Um, I had an experience with somebody who kept arguing with me about going to uh, festivals. And I can tell you, I don't like festivals. It's not my thing, you know, like been there, done that kind of thing. And I'd rather sleep in a cushy bed than in a crappy tent on the ground and deal with half um, half sober and, and, and half alert people that are walking around doing God knows what, trying to be somebody else. So I, I know my preferences. I, I would go bungee jumping or I would go skydiving or I would go whatever, something else before I go to a festival and spend a thousand bucks. To me, it's a waste of time. So knowing that about myself, um, the conversations were kind of funny because the person kept insisting about festivals. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so not into it. <laughs> and, and in addition to knowing yourself, just your experience hopefully makes you more mature. And so some of the things that you will hear your younger partner um, talking about or reacting to or prioritizing may cause you to raise an eyebrow like what are you doing and why so that might again uh, lead to some not as fun conversations as you expect them to be right so age difference is a real thing and people do gain experience through time maturity get to know themselves better so when you're with somebody much younger than you, expect them to be a little bit more undefined perhaps or, or just how you used to be when you were their age, <laughs> right? <laughs> perhaps they know it all and from your perspective, they have no clue. <laughs> so just little things can cause uh, a little bit of drama, but a big one, usually is uh, how each one sees the relationship. And it can go both ways, actually, what I'm about to say. So you as the older female, perhaps your intention is to have fun and enjoy yourself and you're not really looking for a serious relationship. You are enjoying kind of a more loosely aligned partnership, perhaps. <laughs> Yes, ethically so, um, but um, maybe the other person has something else in mind. And that something else could be something more romantic, like they actually do want a more serious relationship. It's rare, but it happens. Or perhaps what they want is um, financial security, a place to live, <laughs> right? Someone to pay the bills. Um, it's possible, especially when the age difference is a very big 
if the age difference is like two, three, four, five years, people are pretty much on the same page about a lot of things, and you're generally likely to encounter a sincere relationship. But when you start pushing 10 years and more, you gotta ask yourself a question. If that younger person has more choices, um, you know, maybe the fun and the games and the, and the kind of a novelty of your relationship is not the only driving force, right? So be alert there. I'm not saying you should suspect everybody of having ulterior motives, but definitely keep your eyes and ears open for signs of that being the case. And often that's exactly where the drama arises. Um, because if you become aware of something like that, start feeling like you're being taken advantage of, this could lead to some issues. Or if the other person is blatantly trying to take advantage of you, if you have developed feelings for them. So pay close attention to how things are and, and, and um, expect perhaps a little bit of drama here and there, but stay away from situations that have lots and lots of drama. It's, it's really not worth it at the end of the day to um, just disturb your life to a degree that's unnecessary, just have some fun, right? So how do you avoid um, getting into situations that can potentially create uh, a waste of time, um, conflict and drama? Well, to begin with, you have to be upfront with the person as to your intentions and as to your age. Um, they probably already know that you're older, but maybe they don't know how much older that you are. So make sure you're clear about it. So everybody's signing on to something as a consenting adult, <laughs> clearly aware of what's going on. And do state, um, you know, your, what you expect from, from a possible relationship with this person. So if you don't want children, say, hey, look, I'm not into kids. Make sure early on you're very vocal and upfront about who you are and what you're into, what you're looking for. Um, and that way the other person is not going into this situation with expectations that are unrealistic or perhaps unsavory. So um, don't disclose your financial situation. Don't, um, from the beginning, try to spend lots of money on them. You're setting yourself up for somebody to take advantage of you. Just keep a low profile, enjoy yourself. And then try to nurture a nice friendship because perhaps um, maybe you have fun a couple of times or something, but at the end you want to stay friends if possible because, I mean, everybody in your life has a, a place, right? So being diplomatic and being nice about it, being honest about things is always a good strategy. Now, remember that no matter how much you try to be upfront and honest, what you are saying may not be exactly what they're hearing. Again, depends on that person's motivation and intentions for actions. So uh, just remember some silly things like uh, nothing makes a guy fall in love faster than needing a place to live. <laughs> right? I've seen that happen more than once. Like my, my friends, girlfriends, and, and not even in the um, cougar uh, category, just normal age um, relationships, I see sometimes the guys about to get kicked out of his place and all of a sudden he really likes his girlfriend or this girl that wasn't really his girlfriend two months ago, all of a sudden he's pushing for a serious relationship and before you know it, he's moving in with her. So be careful about that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Sometimes that's uh, the right thing to do. People are to a place in their relationship where moving in with each other would be the logical and the better thing to do anyways. Save some money, be closer to each other, so on and so forth. So obviously each case on its own merits. But if you're much older than your playmate, your partner, and you don't really know them that well and all of a sudden they're angling to move in with you, you might want to question that, right? So don't think that you're special. Just think that you have something they want. <laughs> so being realistic. Being realistic can cut through the drama. Um, 
other things like perhaps your lifestyles are not really compatible you're good to hang out now and then here and there the two of you but really um, his friends and your friends have nothing in common and you don't like to hang out with their friends and they don't feel comfortable around your friends that can be a contentious topic right um, or like I said their lifestyle is completely different than than yours whoever you are and however you are um, and there, there there's conflict in um, how you spend your free time and how much time you have for each other right and how much of their lifestyle do you actually enjoy or you know perhaps you're the opposite you're critical of their lifestyle so watch for these things they are common when you have a huge age difference and can start very contentious conversations so at some point you have to decide what is this relationship for you like why are you in it actually you should know that from the beginning but as you get to know the person and the relationship itself evolves you should stay clear with this person so if you're moving away from each other if you're not lo no longer enjoying each other because there's too much baloney happening that's not fun anymore you, know, you should be open about it and say hey you know this is no longer really this is not where I wanted to end up basically this is not what I was shooting for um, uh, older woman younger man relationship can be fun and rewarding in many ways um, and it can be a very light-hearted thing again as long as everyone is on the same page and you have communicated that from the start and as long as you keep checking with your partner to make sure you are still on the same page <laughs> and it's, as soon as you notice discrepancies like let's say you're catching feelings and not they're not there or they're catching feelings and you're not there it's a good time to kind of pull the brakes and and ha and reevaluate the nature of your acquaintance, <laughs> or as I call it, my cost benefit analysis. <laughs> and so, at the, this point, you have to like either split apart or redefine how you what the terms of the agreement are, right? And it might sound very like pragmatic, but trust me, there's nothing worse than fighting or uh, having drama with someone you don't really take too seriously. Because why waste the time and the brain space fighting over something that doesn't really matter with the person that you know you have no long-term um, interest or goals with? Um, so, you know, you, you don't go to a movie and sit down and watch the movie to enjoy it. And all of a sudden the, the tape, now it's digital movie, so I don't know if that's possible. But let's say the tape is cutting back and forth, back and forth, and you're wasting like an hour of the time the technician is trying to get the movie going. You're just walking out. You're not going to sit there to watch to the end of the movie when something is not right with the technology and, and you're not getting what you paid for right what you pay the ticket and got popcorn and you're all excited to have some fun at the movies and it turns out the projector is not working <laughs> right <laughs> so be realistic and um make sure you're you're open you are honest as much as you can you know sometimes we're figuring things out as we're going along so you know you might misstep here and there or get confused that's fine but as long as for the most part, you are conscientious about what's going on and how you're handling yourself in the situation and how you're treating the other person, it should all be okay. So, um, yeah, again, don't expect drama right from the beginning. If you are, don't go for it. But if it does happen to you, and it will happen to you sooner or later, small amounts or big amounts, um, you can prevent that as much as you can as much as possible. If you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Send me a comment if you have experiences of this sort <laughs> and uh, I can address other um, topics. So if you have ideas, put it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Valentina Petrova, ValentinaPetrovaConsulting.com. Bye.